Hello again, my name is Gabe Zollner. This is the 16th of February, 2019. Article posted on February the 16th, 2019, written by Steve Almsey and Holly Silverman, S-I-L-V-E-R-M-A-N, both of CNN. Shooter who opened fire in workplace where five died had lost his job, police say. Hmm. The gunmen at the Illinois manufacturing business where five employees were killed and five officers were wounded was being let go by the company, Aurora Chief of Police, Kristen Zimmon told reporters Friday night. The shooter, 45-year-old Gary Martin, used a Smith & Wesson handgun, the chief said. He was killed after police found him attempting to hide and he fired on officers. The chaos at the workplace lasted 90 minutes, Zimmon said. Five Aurora police officers and one employee suffered a non-life-threatening injury, Zimmon said. The first 9-11 calls came to Aurora police around 1.24 p.m. Connecticut Central Time, with callers saying there was an active shooter at the Henry Pratt Company, which says it is one of the United States' largest manufacturers of industrial valves. An employee at the company, John Provost, told CNN affiliate WLS the shooter was a co-worker and had a pistol with a laser sight. He was shooting everybody, Pro said. A slew of law enforcement officers raced to the scene and a team of four approached the building which is in a small industrial area. There was gunfire immediately and one officer was hit, Simmons said. Four other officers were shot just inside the building during the first five minutes of the response. The gunman went farther into the 29,000 square foot warehouse and teams of officers went looking for him. The shooter was killed by officers, the chief said. A sixth officer hurt his knee and needed to go to a hospital. My heart goes out to the victims and their families who simply went to work today like any other day, Zimmon said. Authorities are still working Friday night to identify the deceased, city spokesman Clayton Mohammed said. Prost told WLS there were about 30 people in the building at the time of the shooting. Prost said he and a co-worker escaped through the back door. Prost said a nearby resident allowed him and his co-worker to shelter in a home. Four patients went to hospital in Aurora, medical officials said. The chief said two wounded police officers were taken by air to trauma centers in Chicago, about 40 miles to the east. Mueller Water Products parent company of Henry Pat said in a statement, our hearts are with the victims of their loved ones, the first responders, the Aurora community, and the entire Mueller family during this extremely difficult time. Our entire focus is on the health and well-being of our colleagues, and we are committed to providing any and all support to them and their families. Zimmons said a search warrant was obtained from Martin's residence. Mary McKnight, who says she is Martin's next-door neighbor, moved into the apartment complex over the summer. She said she wasn't close with Martin, but the two would say hi to one another in passing. He seems very friendly. He said hi to a lot of people who came and went. I'm kind of shocked, I guess, McKnight said. I'm sad and shocked, and you kind of never know. Aerial video from the scene just after the shooting showed scores of police vehicles outside the neighboring companies. The response included at least six ambulances and six fire trucks. After the incident, police also put up crime scene tape near the Oro Steel Company. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Farms and Explosives and the FBI were responding to the scene, the agencies tweeted. Aurora, with about 200,000 people, is the second largest city in Illinois, according to the city's website. Locals refer to Aurora as a city of lights, a nod it being one of the first American cities to implement a fully electrical street lighting system. Aurora has a long music and art scene, and even the setting of the popular buddy film Wayne's World. Although a suburb of Chicago, Aurora has a long tradition of manufacturing. You sort of never know, huh? I guess when people get fired, as in this case, 
bad things can happen. I'll attach the link. You look at it. Take a look at the embedded video. Let me know what you think. Thanks for listening.